I'm gonna show you how to make money off of your prisoners in Prison Architect going green DLC today, but sometimes you don't need money if things are already free. Like the Prison Architect base game for this weekend only on Steam, and also it's gonna be part of the Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now Paradox and I are teaming up here, so thank you Paradox for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the video description below. Click it. It supports the channel. But going green is adding a whole lot of new mechanics to prison architect you're gonna be able to create farms and then have your prisoners work the farms so there's a new prison labor type which is the uh, farming you you could make automated farms if you want there's a whole lot of new contraband equipment because needless to say if your prisoners are gonna be farming well there's a lot of sharp tools that they'll have access to and then one of the other new mechanics that I'm very excited for is being able to dip into green energy and yes you're gonna be protecting the environment and that is all well and good but when you're running a prison you want to make the green green dollars and uh, we're gonna be able to do that using solar wind and uh, even hybrid solar wind technology and with that excess source of power well we can sell it so there's just a wild assortment of new things here in prison architect with the going green DLC it is time so what we have here is well it's a pretty nice and simple starter prison and you can see over in the left hand side that we've got a number of ways to make more money we start here with just a simple balance of three thousand dollars but don't worry, daily cash flow is good and we can get it going up because guess what? We're going to have prisoners arriving in a little over 20 hours. But then you've got this going green tab and this is kind of going to be where all of the information is going to be for us to be able to learn how to, well, go green. And one of the things I really like is check this out. When you look at objects, you can sort by packs and you can go going green so you can see all of the different things you can make. Like potatoes. You can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Lovely big golden chips with a nice piece of fried fish but let's get into it because there's also new rooms and these are you can do vegetable allotments farming fields and fruit orchards and then there's a number of grants that we can partake in especially the green energy goals by purchasing solar panels and wind turbines producing a thousand units of power all of that there's the eco-friendly one basic farming a lot of these grants we're going to be getting into but you know what the first bits must go on so I'll, I'll take care of the administrative roles here but you'll notice that there's a new role down here mr farmer so we've got a lot of area in and around the yard that we can uh, grow some crops and eventually put our prisoners to work for that almighty dollar going green indeed my friends a little bit of a double entendre as we're pursuing green energy and profits that's really the the fun of this game so right now we're gonna work on the admin center and uh getting the prisoner intake coming in as well as some medical stuff and then we're gonna start the farming so we unlocked bureaucracy which will allow me to get an accountant here mr accountant we need you or mrs accountant there's your office huzzah oh no i put you in this office and you're like no i'll take this one thank you very much uh accountants and that just gave me an influx of dollar dollar bills we're still got a daily cash flow of $210, but the prisoners should help us with that. And now we're gonna build a medical ward. These are all the things that you need to do kind of at the beginning. So the prisoners are gonna be arriving soon. Exciting times. And we need a psychologist. And in order to get a medical ward, we're gonna need to have health unlocked and uh, that'll be done in about two hours. So shortly after all of the, pres the presidents, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. After the prisoners arrive. Not to be confused with the uh, presidents. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, what a year. So here they all are. Hello, Harvey, Ellison, Donnie, Luther, Bulger, Panda, and Bally. You guys are the first of, well, hopefully many. These are very humble beginnings, but soon our prison will be ginormous. And there's health. So I'm thinking this little area right here will be do quite nicely for a medical ward. So we're gonna need two medical beds. And now that's done, we're gonna hire the doctors. And it looks like they'll need two offices. We're gonna have a little bit of an issue here. But we just got $10,000 in cash, so that should be easy. I'm gonna expand administration up here to the north. Uh, and I'm gonna put some of our early farms and stuff over here. And then we will eventually expand our fences out and we could even buy more land for a much, much larger prison if and so we need it. Because daily cash flow is looking juicy with all these prisoners in here. But one of the things we're going to need in order to get our prisoners into 
being able to work the farms is prison labor. So we'll unlock the extra grant and then prison labor next. Requires a foreman, that will not be a problem. So let's see, which grant do we want to work on next? So we've got the green machine. We can produce a solar panel, wind turbine, and a solar wind hybrid. Now I'm thinking up here to the north is a decent area where we can expand some power. So let's go ahead and go to objects and then go to uh, going green. So the first bit looks like we'll need a solar panel. These things are kind of expensive and we'll want to connect it via electrical cable. So the guys are going around here and look, there's the installation process, boom. So apparently green energy cannot be mixed with conventional energy and I actually shut off the power grid to this place. <laughs> well, <laughs> crisis averted and we've got 20 prisoners out of 16. So I think what we need to do is just fill capacity and no longer take any more prisoners. So we got the solar panel installed over here and uh, I made the mistake of connecting it to the main power grid and it basically shut everything off. So we can't have that yet until our energy production over here is greater than um, the power station which has, seems like total, we're using 141, right? So what we need is to put this in the battery. All right, so we're about to connect our solar panel to the transformer. Then that should allow us to uh, put into the energy grid. Although alternatively, we can export this power and we'll put some batteries on this guy for now. And we need to connect this to the water grid. So we're gonna need some small pipes here. Yay, we're producing power out of the solar panel and we're charging up the battery here. I've also got my nice little power switch. Wait, what's this? We got a little bit of a, a riot. Don't, don't mind that, it's, it's not a problem, guys, I swear. I'm, I'm definitely a uh, more than adequate prison warden. You know, I'm, I'm doing good. All right, well, uh, it took me quite a while, but I've got another little wing going here so that we can hold more prisoners, and we're at 24 out of 24. We had a little bit of extra there, but I think now it is time to start working on a grant that gets us moving towards the farming area. So let's see, we've got green machine going right now. So let's get basic farming. So basic farming will unlock us, what, about $5,000? And we need a vegetable allotment room first, so let's let's get into that. So vegetables, yes, and a minimum size is a five by five, right? So I'm thinking we start the vegetables. We'll do it a. Uh, we'll get that. Now, in order for it to constitute a proper farm, we need something called a shed. And those usually go. They have to go on it, and then you also have to give them water. So you can see here it is in need of water, so we're gonna have to run some piping to it from the main line, which shouldn't be too difficult. Now we will need one farmer, so we might as well hire him now. And luckily he doesn't need a desk or anything like that, or, or an office, at least as far as I'm aware. Needs freedom. All right, this guy definitely likes his, uh, he's a bit smelling and he likes uh, illegal pharmaceuticals, okay? So first we need to get these guys to plant these pipes and get power to this shed like this so and now what we can do is plant and right now it looks like we've only got potatoes available well we need farming huh okay we can get that we will unlock advanced farming so it's going to take about eight hours and let's build a functional fruit orchard so this needs to be a five by five as well now we need our shed let's do that shed there you are son we do have an issue with flooding don't we <laughs> And honestly, I think it's probably time we get another guard or two in here. Let's get, we'll get two more guards because we only had four and we had 24 prisoners. I mean, that just doesn't seem very smart, does it? And I think maybe let's get another cook too, just so we can make sure we are feeding all of our prisoners because there seems to be a little bit of an issue in regards to that. Maybe the kitchen isn't up to snuff. So we got the fruit orchard. Now, in order for that to work, fruit, we could do apples or oranges. Well, I'm from Florida, so you know what? I'm thinking maybe oranges are in our future. And now we need a functional farming field and then five crops of any type in each room. All right, well, we can do that. So this one needs to be what? Minimum of an eight by eight. Oh, this is big. And we had just enough room for it. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. Objects shed. Ooh, farming is almost done. Forestry labor is also available. All right, so now it's time to go in green and let's start planting. So this is farming, so we could have some cabbages. So this is vegetables, so we can plant cabbages. 
Do some tomatoes, potatoes, carrots. We'll do corn up here in the top field. Wheat, barley. And then we need the orchard, right? Apples, oranges, and you know what? Why not some peaches? And I'm thinking we'll get another farmer for now, just to get these things planted. And I'm realizing now that one of the issues is our fruit isn't going to be big enough. Our room. People are going a little bit crazy. They want their pills, but don't worry. We're going to give them peaches. And everybody loves peaches. All right, peaches. We need to increase the size of this fruit orchard. It's going to take over a little bit more of the yard because I need, a, I need room enough for like two more trees. There we go. Objects. Let's get a banana tree. And you know what? Another, another orange tree, because why not? And then that should put us with at least five crops of any type in each of the rooms, because the, the trees was definitely the limiting issue here. Now, this is our test field, because if our prisoners can prove to be adequate, basically we're going to turn this prison into a hybrid prison farming operation, the likes of which the world probably has never seen. Ooh, fruit trees are expensive and have a long growth time. So they are are, they have a higher yield than any other crop type. That is interesting to know. So plant this next tree, will ya? We'll make that a high priority. So we completed that. So you'll notice, like I did after a while, that uh, there's no wind turbines. But if you go to the green energy goals, green energy goal one, uh, you'll unlock wind turbines when you have three solar panels. So that should be the next thing we do. But the issue here is they're kind of expensive. This would push us pretty close to financial insolvency. And I'm happy to do that. We can always borrow money. <laughs> Right? Hey, wind turbine has been unlocked. And now I just canceled those, so now I should have... There it is! A wind turbine! We have insufficient funds, huh? Yeah, how are we gonna get that money? Let's go see what's going on in terms of the grants. Criminally insane wing, can't really do that. But what we could do is do prison maintenance, because we're almost there. We just got $10,000, so I need to unlock groundskeeping and then hire a gardener. Easy peasy. We're gonna do... Groundskeeping, then we'll hire the gardener once that's done, and that, that should allow us to get some money there. We're at $9,000, so now I can go back to doing what I really wanted to do. You know, you, you gotta you gotta give and take. We'll put a wind turbine, like, right here. We'll build that wind turbine, and then how does it connect via electric? And we're almost able to hire that gardener. Things are starting to progress here. Gardener, hey! Look at that, now we're at 12,000 bucks. And look, here's our little farming fields, and some of these guys are tired. Don't worry, just just get back to work. Actually, you know what? We could get another farm or two. So green energy goals. Purchase three wind turbines is going to give me access to the hybrid wind one. Okay, so we'll spend about four thousand dollars to then. <laughs> we'll spend. I think it's about six thousand. Let's see. I think they're bigger though. Green energy gold completed, okay. So now I should have the solar wind hybrid. It's $5,000? Oh my. Well, that is uh, interesting. And we're having problems feeding our people, despite the fact that we're growing lots of crops. Boom! But we have all of this power in here. The only issue is I'm not sure if it's really generating much, because they're not connected. I think they need to go into these transformers, maybe. So it's time to expand the uh, staff quarters, I think. But we're gonna need a bit of a grant. Build a staff room, here we go. Brilliant. So we're building the foundations here. We'll get the staff room in no time. We've gotta ensure that none of our staff are exhausted. Needless to say, <laughs> we haven't been doing the best of that. And we just got a bunch of money. So now, when you look at the utilities, it looks like we've got a bit of an issue over here, connecting, but we're producing uh, quite a bit of power. At some point, we could probably connect this and uh, get off of uh, the power station and even sell our excess power. So that's one of the things we're going to want to do. So we need to do this for five days, right? So this is, in the past, uh, we did this a little bit too early and I think we should be fine now. We'll connect to the main grid. So please construct this. We're producing 250 and we're needing 159. 
fine, so we should be adequate once this is connected. So they just gotta finish up with that. We've got the battery backups too, and we've got solar and wind, so we're gonna be able to run during day and night. We've got one more. The general quality of our cells need to be improved. Guys, I'm trying to save the universe here. I mean, I could hire a few more janitors, I guess. There we go. Danger. 18 prisoners have serious complaints. Yeah, we're gonna have a riot, but that's okay. I'm going to disconnect. And look at that. Eco-friendly indeed, baby. Uh, the only issue here is just everybody's mad. There's just a lot of stuff going on. What are your complaints? I guess you need exercise, right? Can we give you an exercise room? Or should we? Yeah, let's give a little gymnasium going on out here. So they want a gymnasium, huh? And it's gotta be a seven by seven. That's kind of big. Yeah, we definitely need recreation. Got it. I can make that happen, you guys. I've been trying to work on important things. Oh, someone's got a gun. <laughs> Luckily, we arrested him before he could shoot it. Uh-oh, we had a death. Someone was using their recreational shears. I mean, not really recreational, were they? The shears from gardening. Guys, I'm trying to get a gym up, all right? You know what? We're working on it. But at least the prisoners are being fed. All right, this will be the gym. Now we need weights and gym mats. All right, time to take down the wall. That way we can get our people into the gym. They can be happy. Oh, wait a minute. Ha! Huh. Dang it! Well, while most things may be going a little bit crazy, the farming's going well. All right, so it's time we assign them. Max jobs five, qualified prisoners, only one. Required farm work safety. Farm work safety, let's go ahead and start that up. All right, so we're getting education done so we can finally educate our people. It's been a long road here to have a green prison. We're gonna need a classroom. Something and we could build it on the far side over here. Well, one of the other things we can work on while we're waiting for this eco-friendly task to be completed in the next five in-game hours, we can purchase 10 bags of compost fertilizer and harvest 50 plants, sell them, and then collect five seeds. Okay, that's some cool stuff. Look, look at the banana tree. Look at that. Oh, the farmers are working, getting it done. I built this classroom and I'm gonna try to train my prisoners so that they can work in the fields here for us in the future. Don't mind this derp door. And one of the things I can do is fertilize the fields a little bit, which is kind of cool to make things go a little bit faster. And we're teaching our people farmer work safety. Oh man, this this pleases me so much. I, I think we're gonna have to expand the kitchen. I'm expanding the staff quarters as well. And I could use this as kind of like security hallways in the future. It's still a very basic prison, but you know what? It's mine. And we're so close to getting eco-friendly done. Give me that cash money. $10,000, thank you kindly. All for running eco energy. And our power production is 550 during the daylight when the solar panels are working. And at night, I think it's like 300 something. So needless to say, we are producing ample amounts of energy. Although I think it might be time to increase our battery backups. So that way we can just store as much excess energy as possible. Just in case, oh, I don't know, the sun stops shining and the wind stops blowing. <laughs> and I guess one of the other things we can do is we need remote access. So I need a surveillance office. Well, that's going to come once this is done. All right, so we are finally getting people that are qualified. See, they're going into this classroom, they're learning how to farm, and now they're joining the workforce. It's just fantastic. So now I've got to figure out how to sell some crops. We need exports. Let's go ahead and just, uh, can we harvest those are exports? Actually, yeah, maybe over here. All right, so we'll link everything here to logistics right now. Looks like we need to increase storage at some point. I might just expand. But needless to say, farming is going a lot better now. And we're linking the exports, so that should allow us to sell. And uh, honestly, I think... That will get us to what's known as self-sustaining. So we've exported all the plants. We got farmers working. And these farmers are no regular farmers. They're reformed prisoners. We've got green electricity all within my simple yet derpy prison. Just to kind of show you all of the things that you can do here in the Going Green DLC update. So check out the link in the video description to find out more about it. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more. Thank you so much for watching. And I I will see you in the next one.